Sometimes when you win, you lose. Hey guys, I'm back with a new tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to do Twixter syncing. This is my second time doing this tutorial because my uh, video capturing software is being mean to me again. Um, but what you're gonna need is a clip of 60 FPS, a good um, music with a good beat to sync to, um, and Twixter. So let's go to your properties and set it to double NT SC because it'll be smoother. Then go to your clip and disable resample. So then what you're gonna have to do is find the shot in the video. This game is Combat Arms. It's a pretty decent game for PC. Just fun, I guess. Uh, okay. So just split it. Then go to your video and f mark out all the beats. You can use this to slow down your time and then press M to set a marker. I already did that. Just save time and convenience for you guys. I plan to make my tutorials pretty short. <coughs> now, obviously, you're going to use some tweakster. And I like to set it down to something like 5%. Five, 5 and make that your first keyframe. I have lots of family over, so you might hear coughing. <laughs> it's winter in Canada. Um, <clears throat> so now re everything is going to be super slow. Okay. I'm going to I'll just end up. Okay, I'm going to have to extend this. Okay, this goes past. So I'm just going to find where uh, the shot happens I'll be back and I'll find it cuz my, my recorder is lagging me okay I got it it's pretty close to the shot I'd say there you go okay there there we go it's pretty close to the shot um so now what we're going to do is make keyframes for each jump of, of the beat. And my relatives fi find it the perfect time to discuss something. And my computer finds the perfect time to start lagging on me. Okay. Okay. Nope. Still lagging. Still lagging. Don't for don't don't crash, Sony Vegas. Don't fucking crash. Oh, crashed. One second. Okay, so so anyways crashed and I had to what we call redo everything. Oh yeah, and don't forget to disable resample. It makes the twist a lot smoother. Um so now we're gonna have to make the keyframes for every jump. So that's why I have to make these markers. By pressing M on the beat. So and, and you 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 just load on the music by setting it to point five here. And then pressing M whenever you hear the beat. So So then go to Twixter, go to the animation. Now go on to the beat and then go a few frames before it. Make a new keyframe. Okay, set it at five. Okay, and then go on to the actual keyframe, onto the actual beat. And set this to 300%. And if, and if you're getting some red screen or blue screen issues, um, then just set it down to like 200%. Don't okay. Back down to 505%. Okay, now we can just copy these. So now we go to every other beat. You go in front of every other beat, and then we paste them. And then I'll get back to you once I've finished all that. So I did that to all these markers, and I did and I dynamic ram previewed it except for these two, the, the back because I didn't feel like it. 
So this, I guess it turned out pretty good. Okay. Pretty, pretty flawless, I guess. So, and even if I wanted, I could speed up the... Actually, I think I'll do that. I'll speed up the end here. So that it gets closer to the shot. So let's read that dynamic RAM preview there. Bring on the light. So that basically includes it. What you do is you just line up things. Uh, you add some twixter to make it really slow. Then you mark out the beats, and then you make keyframes for the beats, and then you just put the keyframes everywhere, and then it just jumps. So it's pretty simple. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't seen that many really tutorials on this, so uh, thanks for watching, and let's just watch this one last time. That works pretty good. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.